Not all effects in movies are done the way you think they are. For example, I thought they did this shot like this, but it turns out it's not true. So let's see what really went on behind the VFX of Fast and Furious 6. This initial heist scene in Moscow was actually shot in London. The car interior shots were actually shot in front of green screens. That one is pretty obvious. CG cars were added to drone aerial footage. Wembley Stadium and the London street race scene fooled us all into thinking that it was all shot in London when it was actually shot in six different locations across three different cities. London is a busy city and there are only a few certain streets that can be shut down without forcing the whole city to grind to a halt. This meant that the filmmakers had to film different parts of the race sequence on the exact same stretch of road. VFX artists then had to replace different sections of the streets digitally so that we wouldn't notice that it was actually all the same road over and over again. In order to achieve this illusion, the backgrounds used for the interior car window shots had to be altered. Some cars had to be repositioned. Pedestrians, vehicles and lights were added or removed. and the ends of streets, side streets and skylines were digitally extended with London location photography to make the roads appear longer. But they didn't just fool us with London streets that weren't really there. Or Sergeant Digidouble here. They also used CG cars like those in this drone footage. and CG cars like the ones used in this crash sequence. In fact, every single car used in production was LiDAR scanned and photographed, and different digital versions were made with the progressive amount of damage they underwent throughout the movie's timeline. The entire movie is full of subtle VFX we didn't notice or question, Obviously, Dwayne The Rock Johnson isn't going to really jump out of an armoured truck onto the flip car, so we automatically know this has to be a visual effect. But the variety of backgrounds racing past car windows go completely unnoticed. Did you notice this window was CG smashed glass? Or that this tablet screen was just a green image with touch points marked on it? Or that this BMW, the background, the lights reflecting on the windscreen and its opacity were all digital effects? The effects throughout the movie were so extensive that almost every shot had some sort of addition. 
augmentation or adjustment. A total of over 1,800 visual effects shots from 12 different VFX vendors and over 1,000 VFX artists from six different countries not only kept us feeling that the impossible stunts we were seeing were actually real, but also kept us believing that the extremely unrealistic storylines of the Fast and Furious franchise were actually possible. <laughs>